Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to RimWorld. Let's continue onwards to glory, shall we? Clear out some zomboid corpses. Maybe kill some more later down the line. I think uh, everything is moving a bit more smoothly now. Because there is slightly less zombies on the map. Of course, there is a zombie Alistair there, unfortunately. I did not spot that zombie right next to my face. And uh, he nom nommed on, well, our friend's face. We'll take the silver out. Maybe at some point we can uh, trade. Oh, look. Oh, look. We're going to have more zombie thrombos. And here we go. And here we go. I think that uh, at least that thrombo is going to take out some zombies. Possibly. Maybe. Probably. All right. Yeah, you can see the Zeds are going faster than they used to. That's, that's progress. That is progress, my friends. We have some traps over here. Take these out. And then we can redo this and redo that. And uh, wait for these guys to want to come in. And then maybe we can shoot some more of them again. That ballista, mm, I'm not so impressed with. I know you guys have been saying uh, I should make that. What's it called? The, the, the blacksmith, the improved blacksmith bench and all that stuff. Make some fire pots and such. But you know what? All in time, we want to make this pretty first. And then, uh, then we can burn zombies. Maybe. We'll see. Fine, I'll make it right now. Ugh. You guys have been saying this for a while. But the main reason... I've not been doing any of these. Uh, the main reason, really, was that I didn't want to spend more iron and all that stuff. Take it out. What is that noise? What was that noise? Did somebody smack on anything over here? It sounded like somebody was fighting something. Hmm. That was strange. That was indeed strange. Alright. So, you also told me I should make some... Uh, uh, some coal, right? Oh, good. Uh, we're gonna keep this going. So, for coal making is... I know it's one of these. Just, just, just give me some time, okay? So, fire pit is for cooking, right? Only uses wood when you cook something. Produces no heat otherwise. Interesting. That's actually really cool. Wood conscious can only uses wood when you cook something produces no heat otherwise. Oh that would be so much more useful than this fire pit. We're gonna build that and we're gonna destroy this one after it's gone through its thing. Yes, good. That's a stone hard corpse bonfire destroy the empty stuff okay bane fire bonfire is large control fires in disposal of corpses and bones yeah yeah, yeah. We, we don't really need that right now because we do have our own thing are you still making kibble let's have you stop making kibble for a bit because really there's no real need for you to make kibble it's okay uh, tables stools combat stand storage pallets I mean, we could use those. Gardening box. For growing food requires 51 light to grow, yeah. It can be used outside in desert environment or inside in combination with a sun lamp or a light reflector. Yes, indeed. Still works wonders. Putting dirt in a box gives you the ability to grow plants where you want and under the condition you desire. That's so cool. Uh, let's see this raid. Okay, they will prepare for a while, and then they will meet their demise. Good. So there's the crafting stations. See, I think we're gonna do the improved one. This is the stone quarry. This is for stone chunks. It's the ice gathering station. Okay, let's do. Let's uh, build this improved blacksmith. We can. Uh, we can move it somewhere else later on. Now, in uh, the last time, why is this, there's nothing refueled over here. Hazard, what are you doing, man? You should be refueling these. Actually, let's take one of these out and we can reinstall that one in there. That would be better. And we're going to uninstall this one. 
Yes. So the last time I was using this mod, uh, using these medieval things, uh, what I actually did is I built these early on due to the fact that we didn't really have zombies. We had other medieval people coming in and we focused more on that, but now that's not so important. Hazard, are you gonna like go haul some stuff over there? Because we kind of need that. Okay, he's refueling. They're beginning their assault. Oh no, they did kill a zombie there. And they do have running guns, so they will just uh, pull more zombies. I like this. Yeah, look at that. They're already going for this one. They're just going for every thread they see. Acceptable. Come on in. Yeah, you're not really good. Hey, they, they might actually make it. No, they spread out. If they all went together, they could have made it in here. But now, not so much. Yeah, because they're, they're doing some melling over here. And that's just not going to work well for them. Yeah, poor, poor dudes. <coughs> unfortunate and they're fleeing goodbye take care take your diseases oh that guy's gonna turn into zomboid isn't he yup nom nom well we can at least unforbid all of their things not that we're gonna ever get to them but hey there is more silver ore in here we'll take that out sure and we do want to take these ones out and where is my boy Red? Red, I need you over here. You are going to be reinstalling this thing over yonder. Already working on it. Good. And now you need to install this here. That way was not the way to go. Quickly. Pick it up. Go over here, Jeebus. Drop it. Install it. Thank you. Shoot it. Come on. Well, we tried. Well, we tried. Look at that. Red is mining, which means there's no smoothing jobs out there. And I know there's smoothing jobs out there because we can assign them. This needs to be smooth as well. That and that. And this is all good. Alright. Butcher's area, not so very much. But this thing over here needs to be smooth. Oh no, hay rotted away? Oh, the horror. The horror, not the hay. Now, let's see. So we can make the tools over here. It's steel and wood. Alright. Uh, we're gonna need the ability to produce steel from iron. Now, uh, these, these, this is just plate armor, which is kind of cool, but in our case, doesn't really help at all. Mm, nothing else impressive to make over here, but we can make the hand tools, and that's important. Uh, we... This thing, yeah, it does have fuel. Now, I hope it only uses fuel when you make something. That would be great. If it doesn't, well, we're gonna have to get rid of it. Blacksmith smelter, okay. Weapons armor slag chunks being used. Wood full consumption, okay. Extract usable metal from slag chunks and other mixed metal items. Consumes a lot of wood. It does consume a lot of wood. Blacksmith's forge. Uh, a wood field station equipped for smithing medieval area weapons, armor, and tools. Okay. That's the tailoring station, food prep. Artisan station. Various tools for the production of various sculptures and decorative goods. I think that's the one we want. Definitely. And then in the crafting station. <coughs> Necessities and trade goods. Oh no, zombie meat right away. So we need we need some steel to make two tools. Double hand tools. Uh, now which one of these would be would be making steel. I understand that the smelter would turn the slag chunks into steel, but can you also get it turning like iron into steel? I don't know. Oh, look at these guys. They're ready to go, but everybody's asleep right now. The horror. What was that? They attacked something. I heard that. When did you attack? Ah, 
I don't know. Did they attack one of these doors? Oh yeah, they attacked one of these doors. Okay, okay. That's the spirit. Okay, so we're definitely not building a door over here. So we now know zombies do attack doors. And look at that. It has sped up quite nicely. Yeah, yeah, look at that. A lot of them has left. Okay, you know what that means? No storage space. That's what it means. Let's expand the zone. Uh, that means that we can now go back into menu options and in the zombie settings can find it there you go we can turn this back to the normal frequency the size is normal yes oh we have a soft cap ah oh, that's really not that much uh, let's go it let's get it up to a hundred this is cool 101 Dalmatians and zombies oh look it's so much faster now <laughs> the game is working so much better Thank you! That's a great work on this mod. I love it. Good stuff. Good stuff. All of this is working faster now. So we do want to make uh, two of these tools. That is our goal. Double tools to be made. Now how are we doing on everything? Bamboo is going to be growing up here nicely. Uh, rice needs replanting, and Courtney's gonna do that. I think I wanna start planting some mushrooms and such. Oh, this is working so much better now. It's cleaned up so nicely. Good, good, good. Yeah, we don't have any steel whatsoever. And I'm, I, I guess there might be some steel chunks on the map. If there is any slag. Yeah, we have uh, slag chunks over here. Now, I hope you can fuel this with uh, bamboo. So we can smelt metal from slag. We can't make... Uh... Hmm. Do this forever. You can't make uh, it out of iron. That must be another, uh, another thing then. Need to pay attention to that. I know you guys have mentioned it in the comments, but you know... It's, uh, <laughs> it's me remembering it at some point. It's uh, going to be tougher. Okay, this is definitely using a lot of wood. Uh, I'm going to need to allow sewing over here again. There you go. Hazard is going to do this, apparently. That's acceptable, buddy. That is acceptable. And this is going to give us 20 steel, right? Yes, we got 20 steel, which is, I believe, enough for one set of tools. Yes, it is. Good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna send them away. We don't really want visitors right now. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's really such a s small amount of zombies on the map compared to what there was previously. We now don't have uh, zombies defenses anymore. They were the ones defending us from everything earlier. Now, not so much anymore. <laughs> uh, who's gonna be my crafter? This is probably like smitting or something like that. So it would have to be red. Yo, red, can you uh, smit over here and make us the double tools that we need? Yeah, it must be fun working in here in the darkness. Uh, in fact, let's. Uh... Oh, you're producing more of this stuff. Good. Let's actually go ahead and in this stockpile, we're gonna expand it over here. Like that, I'm gonna delete this stockpile and I expect you guys to deliver this stuff there. Uh, I did never install this over here again, which is a mistake. Now, let's see, so this one, it's like that. Let's move this one away. This one is gonna be for making jerk meats forever. It doesn't really provide uh, yeah, any light or heat, but that's okay. And no zombies. Gotta remember that. No zombie meat. Good, so hold all that there. Ooh, even people are coming in. The merchants. Where are you guys going? Hand tools have been made. I have a feeling these merchants are not gonna do as well as you think. They are coming over here, and I mean, if they really manage to make it in, I'm gonna let them in. 
I'm gonna let them come in here, but I don't think they're gonna make it. I'm sorry, Beaver. You did not make it, Beaver. He's being a sniper, though. Take them all out. Oh, too late. Too late. Right. I unforbade everything. Let's forbid these again. Oh boy, the zombies are so much faster now. <laughs> That's cool. But that really does mean we need to uh, set up more defenses over here. So there's our hand tools. Alright. So with hand tools now, what we can do is make the artisan and uh, this one. We can make these out of bone. So the artisan table and the crafting station. I wanted those two. And for now, I'm just going to drop the artisan over here and then the bone crafting station over here we can uh, move these at some point later on especially now that we have the ability to mine things faster so let's say we're gonna have toilets over here uh, actually you know what we're gonna move these in here because this is kind of our main uh, crafting area over yonder it's not big enough but it's gonna do for now you're cooking. How are we doing on food? 1300. That's acceptable. I think we have plenty. I think we have plenty. There's Brachiosaurus in here. It's just, just the worst. The fact that, the fact that he's healing up is even worse. <laughs> oh, but what can you do, right? What can you do? Alright, so we do have these already. Bone Artisan Station. Make shrine to the random number god. Shrine of the creator, Pengli, gentleman, revenge cat, full muffalon rug, tribals rug, small ice sculpture. Cool. That's wood and steel. No, 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 no. Shrine of the creator, shrine of Pengli. We can make these out of uh, bones. Revenge cat. I like this. Make revenge cat. 50 ingredients. I'm gonna clear it all. I'm gonna allow bone. Make me revenge cat out of bone. Thank you. Now, who is gonna be my artist? We said Sphinx. She's not very good at it, but she can do it. Especially if she makes it in the dark. It's definitely gonna help. Sphinx, are you gonna do it? She's gonna do it. A revenge cat. <laughs> I wanna see how this looks. I have a feeling this could be kinda cool. Red is even producing those thing. Damn. It, the game suddenly sped up so much, it's crazy. Okay, where are you putting that? There's the revenge cat. It's poor quality, 10 beauty. The statue of the, is a constant reminder of the harsh nature of life in the rim. It, it chronicles the life and passing of a cat named Revenge. She wandered the ways with her family for many years, searching for a home. Eventually, they found their final resting place among a clearing in a forest. It was a camp run by a primitive tribe. Shortly after their arrival, Revenge family, Revenge family and friends were all slaughtered by an invading horde of wild men. She was left among the dead. Assuming her fate sealed, the primitives left her to die in the field. No food given, no medical care administered. Administered somehow against all the odds the little cat known as revenge survived along with her good friend Gomer No missing a tail she and Gomer made their home among the tribal colony as luck would have it a gift from the random number God another pack of wild cats came and joined the colony and they had many new friends It is during this time that the cat known as revenge became pregnant with the child of her good friend Gomer But life in the rim is harsh and unforgiving happiness can often be swallowed by despair in one horrifying moment Fearing a harsh winter and dwindling supplies, the tribesmen cast out all the cats and left them to defend for themselves. Forced to fend for themselves, the little cat known as Revenge watched as her new friends died one by one. Some died from the cold, some died from starvation, others still from more invading wild men. Forced to eat the corpses of the dead to survive, the little cat Revenge lasted the longest. But nothing on this cruel rim lasts forever. She passed shortly after her good friend Gomer and she died of starvation. Unborn child still in her womb. What is this horrible story? But it sounds like real world to me. <laughs> but this is horrible. What is wrong with you people? Who writes stories like that? But we do have her monument over here. And, and that's amazing. But seriously. Alright. You know what? 
Shall we make toilets? Let's make toilets. And the toilets, I did say, are going to be in here. How are we going to do this? That's a very good question. <coughs> uh, let's do this. I'm going to have an entrance over here, I guess. That's, that's it for now. Have like this and like that. Mm. Let's do one more over here. We can fill this in later on. It's not that big of a deal. But we're gonna let's mine this out. Yeah, let's do this. And there's the bone crafting table. We can do make adobe bricks over here, coal chunks from wood, quick line pitch, explosive pots. Yeah, we can make all of these things. Drinking cups. That's kinda cool. What do you need for this? Clear all. Make it out of bone. Make me like six drinking cups. Good. And we're gonna reinstall this bad boy in here. Perfect. Sphinx is mine in there. We do need a research project, but it's not as important. We could work on Devil Strand and make us some Devil Strand clothing, but I don't think that's as important. So there's some zombies down here. There's a couple of zombies over here. Oh, they spread up so nicely. And there's... Wow, it's really not that many zombies left. We could, in fact, clear them out. Yeah, we need more of them coming in now. <laughs> we are no longer protected by the zombie hordes. That is horrible. Uh, we can hold that out. If you want to or turn into something useful okay shackleberry is gonna make us the drinking cups so it's a normal bone drinking cup what is this various basic and fancy cup designs generally used for by people when they want to drink something or sold to people with similar drinking desires so i guess we can sell these drinking cups i wanted to make drinking cups for everybody you know they can they can use that to drink because that's what the drinking cups are usually used for. Uh, we can have the iron door over here. Yes, we have plenty of iron. We do not have plenty of bamboo. Uh, well, that's mostly because it has not been hauled. And Hazard is working on that. Making this our stockpile zone. Which is good. Just a random stockpile zone there, I find. I'm fine with that. Yeah, we're gonna need a new crafting area. I think we might make it underneath the toilet area. Just underneath the toilet tree. Uh, let's take a look at this. Let's go here and let's go cancel that one. One toilet. That's gonna be like... Two toilets? Uh, we do two, two toilets and two bathtubs, I think. I think that's okay if you do it this way. Yeah, let's do it this way. We're just gonna build that door and then goes back to mining. That's acceptable. And yes, I would like to do some plumbing. So... How about... You smooth this wall for me. I know red. You're gonna hate it. But... Just the way it is. Just the way it is. And it's gonna have to be... This one is gonna have to be smooth as well. Just the way it is. <coughs> yeah, let's do that. Checkleberry is gonna help. Frackets is cooking. How are we doing on food? We're still okay on food. Thing, there's rice growing over here. There's lentils popping up. We have jerk meats? What? Where did we get jerk meats from? Excuse me, this is dangerous. Red lentil. Ah, uh, yes. No, we're not gonna do that. No, we're not gonna do that. Yeah, we're gonna use these in the in the other thing. I think that's fine. I think that is fine. Yeah. Uh, let's actually put jerk meats over here as well. Yes, jerk. There you go. Put us in here. There you go. You can drop those in there as well. Sphinx is mining that. Shackleberry is helping over here. It's very dark right now. The volcanic winter isn't helping, but it's very dark over here. We have all of this planted, so there's going to be plenty of bamboo coming in soon. We have plenty of corn coming in. I think we're still fine. We have a ton of um, cloth, so that's good. 
Drinking cups still need to be made, and uh, of course more revenge cats, maybe. Uh, let's grab you, uh, let's reinstall you there. So we can fit this station in here as well, I think. That's what we're gonna do. Let's reinstall this bad boy up there. These things could use some chairs. Let's get some chairs. Can we do... Uh, this one, right? Can we do this one out of bone? Yes, we can. Make these boned. You know, make these boned. Which one is this one? Up there. There you go. We can make all these out of bone. It's gonna make this a nice thing. Now, I would like a bigger sculpture. Maybe the Shrine of the Creator. Let's pause. It's not made out of lentils. Let's clear it all. Let's make it out of bone. Maybe this one is gonna be a bit bigger and we can plop it right down in the middle over here. That would be kind of cool. Even if it's, if it's poor, well, oh well. What can you do, right? That's our coolers. That one's empty. That one still has a bit to go. But the temperatures in here are just peachy. I mean, the temperatures out there are not that bad. So, hey, it's fine. How's this place looking? Somewhat impressive workshop. I'm content with that. Yeah, we do have some more uh, red lentils. Red lentil, red lentil, jerked meats. All right, now this, as I said, will have to be smooth as well, just the way it is. Iguana self-tamed. Oh boy, we're getting uh, good events. Iguana dons are self-taming. Yeah, I don't know how to get you in here, buddy. I could say this and tell the iguana to come to home zone if he can make it in here then we can get him in here if you can get past all these things we're gonna have a pet iguana there's actually wildlife out there would you look at that now can you make it past all the zombies so far you're doing good oh it's getting so dark it's hard to see yo this iguana don't is making it in Holy balls on chopstick. Red, 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 come over here. Come over here. I need you down here immediately. Before somebody takes our iguanodon away. Um, uninstall this. Iguanodon. Come to save zone. Good. Install this. Red. Pick it up. Go there. Up it down. Thank you. Now, as you know, the reason why I do this is because sometimes if we if we leave it there, they're gonna run through, install it, and end up out here. But we have a pet iguana now. We do have ourselves a pet iguana that's gonna eat our crops. You know what? We're gonna train you to be obedient, and somebody's gonna love you. Do you have hazard? Hazard, you're my handler. Courtney would be the... No, Hazard is better. Hazard, you handle animals first. Now, we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna build you a nice... Do we have like a... We have a bowl. Cast for animals. You can store food and hay. No. No. Um, I wonder if you could store that stuff in there. That would be good. In any case, let's uh, let's go over here then to normal furniture. We're gonna do an animal bed. Just make it out of cloth since we have plenty. We're gonna put it in there, and we're gonna try this cask thing. Make it out of iron. And we're gonna see if we can store in some of that, some plant scraps. Actually, there's plenty of plant scraps stored in there. And this is gonna be for iguana one. Iguana one, iguana's one bed. Hey, Red, could you go build that for me? No, Shackleberry is gonna do it in no time, I believe. Also, smoothing to be done out here. It's fine. Oh, Sphinx is gonna finish this thing. That's good. Tell me what we got. Okay, Bone Shrine of the Creator. It's poor. Oh boy. Some say our universe was created by an all-powerful being, that the threads of fate itself are woven the laws of our world decided and the truths of our truths of our being unmasked by a single all-powerful entity. In the pantheon of gods we refer to this individual as Tynan. <laughs> I like it. 
Dine and the Creator. We have come to understand that this one being can change our world irrevocably based on a whim. As such, it is only right to give him homage so that we may avoid his wrath. This is true. This is true. Why is that that thing there, huh? Ah, uh, I would have put it like. How about? Yeah, we can't rotate it. This is a bit weird, but this is where I would want it. Unfortunately, it's a poor Tynan statue. Oh, you put kibble in there, right? Good. We have kibble. It's acceptable. Uh, where is our iguana Don Juan? Just sleeping on the floor. Yeah, well, we need to rename you. So your name shall be... You know, actually, let's check if anybody uh, wanted to have an animal named in here. I know it's not a dinosaur, but sometimes you guys have uh, uh, desires to be named after animals. You know what? A maniac dragon wanted to be a dinosaur. Iguanodon is very close to dinosaurs. So you know what? You can be Maniac D. Welcome to the colony Maniac D. You're our fantasy Iguanodon. You can pretend you're a dinosaur because you're Iguana. And I think that's that's as best we can do. Alright, uh, we need to home zone this so it gets cleaned up. It's not home zone. I mean, it is home zoned. I think our boy Hazard needs to do some more cleaning. Actually, our Lady Shackleberry is going to need to do some more cleaning. I think that's going to be better. And... <laughs> wow! This is amazing! I've never seen this before. Wait, it's amazing. You actually do have Tynan's face over here. Kinda. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. I'll, I'll take it. How many zombies are there? Yeah, can, that's definitely not enough zombies on the map. We need more zombies. This is this is gonna make stuff too easy. We need more zombies. Uh, let's go into the zombie mod setting, and let's uh, make it like 201. If that's gonna start lagging out, we can uh, do all that stuff. All right. Well, for now, thank you, buddy, for watching. Do hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, click the notification bell below. If you see more from me, and I'll see you guys next time. Check her out.